What's up guys welcome back to Tech Phantom and in today's video we'll be taking benchmarking scores and the actual performance of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor and is it actually a worth upgrade for the next year 2023 for overall flagship smartphones. Before getting this video if you are new here then do consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. So let's get started. So the very first thing, the major upgrade going to be in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is going to be of Cortex X3 and it will be the prime core of this phone uh, processor and it will also boost up to 25% of peak performance over the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. Well, not only that, what you also be getting is a new setup with this course and uh, with this processor and it's not only simple as that because it's a bit of a confusing also as we have also seen the benchmarking of this processor too. Now what is going to be with this processor first is that the one will be the power core and the 2 plus 2 plus 3 arrangement and it will be solving its heating issues what we have with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 and the 8 Gen 1. Well on the top of the line it is will going to be the 4 nanometer processor similar to the previous year current generation processor and it can go up to 3.4 to 3.5 gigahertz of a higher clock speed and in the boosting the speed and overall the 3.2 gigahertz is going to be the standard frequency or the range of this processor well going on with the Benchmarking with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with the Samsung's SMS918U smartphone which is going to be the USA variant and it's going to be the vanilla version. Now on the Geekbench score side it will be single core of the 1521 whereas the multi score multi core score is going to be 4689 for the Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup of the smartphone. And this has been updated recently based on Android 13 on this smartphone and it shows a bit of a different cluster over here as there will be a base frequency of 2.2 GHz which is the main core and the other setup is going to be 3 cores at 2.02 GHz and 4 cores at 2.8 and 1 powerful core of 3.36 GHz. Now it's a bit on a different side when compared to the other one as we have talked earlier with the 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 setup. So what do you think about this processor and overall it's definitely going to be a huge upgrade from the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1. Well talking about the smartphone which will be coming as early as next year and even by the end of the year then the very first smartphone to expect it from this processor is going to be the Xiaomi 13 smartphone lineup and followed by the Samsung's Galaxy S23 lineup smartphones. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and about the Geekbench scores of this processor. What do you think about it? Is it a pass or a fail? Let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching.